we could be seeing waving our goodbyes to the face clan of stage two in just one minute and 40 seconds time let's see spray through the smoke it's wild but it's taken down nico what a way for it to potentially end he cannot contribute but rain can let's get planted but mbk dead right after retake is up for astralis it should just be easy oh goodness Glaive. what is going on Glaive? are you okay <laughs> my friend oh. Glaive is everything what? brad coltera swinging into him and that's the equalizer now the round gets interesting Certainly does. Flamey and simple, though. Against Olof Meister, oh! who nails a shot towards Shaw there. Takes a bullet to the face for his troubles, and Simple trying to convert that fact. Gives up his position with the footsteps here. Olof Meister bravely swings into him. Oh that could cost him the round. God. I'm not sure why they've done that. They know exactly where he is, and that's going to be the end of the round. Instead of using the one minute on the clock to get away and maybe get towards each other, they've heard him in a connector and challenged him. Well, in theory... Right? Let's paint the theory here. One individual trapped in a choke point with two T's around him. Now, Simple knew where Olaf was. That tight line on Colt. Yeah. He had full health. He only had a rough idea where Colt could have been, right? That was a risk. So him making footsteps into connector was kind of like, hey, I'm here, come find With headshots. Now Sports looking to find their first gun round since the first three. Okay. Big round of play here, ladies and gentlemen. Henry's painted the picture. Now it's time... But now sports to make this last oh, chance count. Oh, oh, that's wow. his signature move. He does that so often and always gets it so cleanly. Big frag. Carrigan's going to be forced now to watch this uh, potentially the 15th round appear. On it's golden spot four towards the ramp. He used it as a fake flash for ramp. It did kind of force him off, I suppose. JW is going to be forced out and they're going to descend lower with a vengeance. All four, make it five, now descending towards the low site. Bronze lost his life elsewhere, taking the initial duel. Golden, he's going to be forced out of windows just by bodies alone. There's just so many players, he's overwhelmed. Doesn't make, oh, make it look oh. like that. That's ridiculous from Golden. A third frag. I did not see that one coming. Frozen and Woxic, they're going to do their best to pick up the pieces. One. He's going for this initial pick, and we'll see if there's any smoke or flashes behind it. It's just going in dry to see a guardian pick, and it works out for one. Surely not a second, and Mac 10's too close. Tag one. He did. He wall banged straight in, That's and insane. Walks, he's done enough to oh. finish the job. He's got to he's tag another one. one. Chew him from the hip. Carrigan tags up Brolin. Three are hiding behind the sandbags. Golden's and needs a fresh mag for the repeak. Imagine no. if Carrigan got another one. Holding down Banana, some close quarters orphing. He's contributed to three. This is actually sick from Carrigan. Will they check the sandbags again, knowing he's probably fallen back at this stage? Surely Fire they give a shot it. now, just, Carrigan. Go just on. a courtesy check at this point. Make sure it's clear, Brolan, and indeed, he will. Great no. shot. He's on for one hell of a round. Not the ace, but he's contributed massively here. I question whether he should have the orb, considering Vox is available, but I was dead wrong. Carrigan about to get the full oh, kill here. And it's a beautiful one. That is what it's all about there. One save the WBP and a P250, and that's all it takes sometimes. And some way, device is suddenly thrown into this clutch. 1v2 required. Alexa B has the bomb on his <gasps> back, but device with the wall bang through the Time. sandbags. Seven seconds, no. Valder burns to death. Wow. And that's how it ends for OG. Astralis, they take the two and O. Oh, and Valder feels bad man for him there. Astralis get the job done in two. A good effort at the comeback from OG, and it's saddening to... Off the same position, swarmed down towards lower, but he didn't have the backup of Electronic, who seems to be finding all of the kills now. Perfecto, firing off bullets from the decon room as well. Navi, look like they've done enough here. That's a hat trick for Electronic here, but they do run into the choke point. Simple, close things out. CZ in hand. So same tactic from phase, but not really the same effect in the end. Didn't even get a plant out of it. An armored CZ. They really, like, they went one better on the raid boss. The P250 wasn't sufficient. They wanted to spend more money on Simple. And he finds himself a double kill to secure the pistol. So no complaints from anybody. We'll get to see Electronics opener as well. Just uh, taking the first onto Brokey and actually finishing off the second as well. My goodness, I didn't know how much Electronic contributed to this one, but it was uh, a whole lot. Yeah, it sounds like a broken record at this point. But in my mind, the most key part of real estate when you are taking that lower bomb site is that window room. And Electronic is... That's a massive round for the UK side. That is... That could be one of their best rounds Maybe not in terms of how pretty it was, but how in terms of impact. Because look at the economy state now for AGO. This is an opportunity for Endpoint to just break the T-side economy, which they've already relatively been able to do in this round. The full AK is being upgraded. A lack of utility as well. <gasps> oh, what? crucial! Oh, crucial!
show! <risos> não se está! Sim, não é, velho? Tudo que o ratão quer é enfiar o focinho em algum rabo alheio, velho. 3 a 3, tudo igual. Salve, mostra o ratão. Olha lá, velho. Oh, okay. Simple will manage to shut him down after his opening frag. So the trade comes in, albeit a little delayed. Nico, however, very aggressive up towards jungle. And I've noticed that we can see kits through walls now. There's a bit of a debate going on amongst the uh, the goonies. Rush said he forgot that it was turned on, uh, turned off. So last night when we were actually uh, fragging out, games, he, he said, oh, I'll turn that command on. And I said, I don't like it. It's a bit jarring. It is a bit much when there's like five kits out on the map. They're everywhere and they're green as well. Yeah, it, it, it can be, uh, like I said. Wins Ooh. the first fight and with that kill, the bomb now dropped to his feet. Dupree coming up through the divider. Valdet a little bit worried here because they can come through long. Luckily enough, players have now gotten into the A site on his team. Hi. What? Well, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Cynix has retrieved the bomb. They try and get in. You got to get Time. past Mantu, and that is a challenge in and of itself. Oh, Mantu wow. delivers three kills from the man and a second round on the board for OG. Es una cosa. No juega a Valorant porque voy a ser el mejor del mundo. Ya ya lo sé. En el Counter Strike, como juega a Valorant, madre mía. Entonces ya, papá, y vámonos. Maybe pick this one up, but it is going to be the upper rush yet. Flamey's there with the Desert Eagle. We know how good he is with the weapon, and it's a team trying to kick things off. Bit of contribution from Flamey there, and it's trading in favor of Navi for now. Not until Nico arrives, though. Simple with the USP, it's enough, but he hits the headshot. Nico somehow gets away with it. Three kills in total. That should have been the round, and maybe it still is. No, Nico wins it with the AWP. He's Unbelievable. furious. Four kills from Nico. He wants to get his kills on par with Simple. 29 to 30 as these two stars clash in the server tonight. My goodness. It's, they're going supernova, both of them. And uh, we'll see that again. Let's see the Nico 4K. So first into the site, second. These are fine. These are necessary. This is the duel he wins versus Simple. Big one. Simple switching to the USP. Nico had 13 HP for that. I mean, it, it was all looking like doom and gloom. Electronic and Simple left to clutch it out, but all Nico to save it. Quad kill from him. Tactical timeout brought to you by the US. Simple though, his certainly have. Taken down by Nico, who has got himself a 16th kill. No signs of slowing down either. That is beautiful. <laughs> In towards a connector. He absolutely rocks Electronics World. And that's two of the heaviest hitters now from Na'Vi removed. Speaking of which, Cold Zero will be taken down towards the A ramp, but they know exactly where Boomage is. Oh, and Nico is taking no he's, prisoners today. He's furious. 18 to 6. The demon inside of Nico is in the server. My God. And that was the only AWP, right? They had the hero AWP on Simple. He's doing the, the power play, which is going straight out the window, doing the landing, the skill jump. And Nico, I he like just comes Flamey. straight out. And oh, Flamey, he needs he his ready. demise. He had to scope out. There was a chance he hit that. But uh, ultimately, it is all off my test to secure the penultimate frag. Nico on for four. Happy to hunt as well. In towards B. And that's exactly where Perfecto resides. We'll see whether he can actually find one more kill here. There's a chance with the timings. There it is. And uh, need flash over and hope for the best here. That's pretty much it. There's the smoke. Here's the flash. the flash. In we go. And Crims is perfect. Just going to come down to the one individual kill. duel. One no will time. be enough. Where's that bomb? It's on Frozen and they're all dead. Crims, get out of my bomb state. He screams as he finds another multi-kill. I'm going to ban myself from saying and it's over now you know mid round sure i just honestly don't think it's relevant because at this point in time well the trades just keep on going down this time favoring phase but look at the damage inflicted perfectos loosened them up and simple he just has to pull these final two teeth no not gonna happen cold zera does find his head which puts us into a one versus three they're tagged for boomage but the one healthy player takes the duel well, there it is, FaZe Clan. With that mid control up towards short, managing to fight back against Na'Vi there. Looked like Simple might have had a chance with the double swing coming from the bomb side there, but he times it. 
a little bit incorrectly. The moment he looks away, they both swing around, they gain bench control, and then at that point, he had no chance. He was already low. Cold Zero, some fantastic shots here, especially that one towards Simple. That pretty much secures the round and then fires off towards Short as well. Just to close things out here. Cold Zero is feeling it. Fifth kill to his name, and we will find ourselves another partial by, not even that, Eco for Na'Vi here. Couldn't ask for more, really, in terms of the candidates. Yeah, but if one mistake is made, a two-on-one, even with the low HP, becomes very difficult indeed. They have a huge advantage, that's for sure. Boomish spots out and actually gets that two versus one we talked about. Now Reign's chances are limited. Needs to work out where the second player is. He knows Boomish is towards the site. Waking for him to challenge again. Makes his way through. Doesn't get that first shot. He actually hits the bullet as well. It wasn't quite enough. And now he knows both of them are there. Can he find the second oh. boomer? has been spotted. And Rain comes up clutch. He doesn't have a kit, but picks one up on Roots Got and defuses the bomb, no problem. That's a lovely turnaround. Rain. Yes, he had to get that kit as well. That would have been a disaster if he lost it in that fashion. So he, he didn't panic at all there, Chad. No, very calm. Completely calm. And, and the game feels very calm at the moment, right? Like, with these starts, Navi are milking that clock down. I don't think the smokes are actually what they were expecting and trying to stop. So they, the bloom is still effective. Yeah, so there's still there's a strong wall and a strong shot from Nico. The Creed really working out for him, but the same story for Electronic. It's trading blows here, but it is phased coming out on top. Four versus three, Perfecto jumps down. Hunting for all off my step, tucks himself in towards double doors. Ooh, he didn't fall into the trap of feeling like he couldn't retreat. He did well to get back there. Even the doors open. Actually works out for Nico to take a kill and the bomb. Should be a perfect round now. You can see Perfecto completely caught out. Flaming finds his first, and he'll only be the one. Three to five. Phase do find three rounds, and they needed them. Two in a row. Is see the second shot. This is the duel he wins on Electronic, and that's an important duel to be winning, considering just how powerful Electronic has been in Yard. Lovely work from Nico, just maneuvering with the doors, and Perfecto gets caught out because he sees the doors close, thinks it's his moment. And as, uh, we'll see that again. Let's see the Nico 4K. So first into the site, second. These are fine. These are necessary. This is the duel he wins versus Simple. Big one. Simple switching to the USP. Nico had 13 HP for that. I mean, it, it was all looking like doom and gloom, electronic and simple. Way in towards inside. Bomb planted. A rare victory in that sense. The round surely falls in favor here of Na'Vi. Oh, Ooh, hold on. A couple of kills now. A lifeline. A lot, yeah. Nico's not looking for this though. The ram flanks coming in. He'll be able to, to explain it, but Electronic has found the frags with just a scrap of. Oh dear! That was a nasty way to go. Craters and retrieval of the kit. Boomich fortunately has one and he's still totally safe and sound. Yeah, they got plenty of money as well. So not a huge deal. Um, would have been nice to bring the double orb set up over. They still got it. Uh, looks like they're just going to convert this 16-12, to be honest with you. That's we pretty clean. That is actually as clean <laughs> as it can be. Uh, uh, from a 12-3 half to a 16-12, that's... Oh, that's going to be something to celebrate. Is the A site. Of course, that CT rotates very loud as well. So Astralis is going to be hearing all these footsteps come back. Upper Mantu spraying with the USP can find the connected kill. He's lost his teammate on the site, though. Stuck out on a limb and through Ooh. the smoke, they go into the firing line. Three from a Jisk. He's on a four right now. He's looking for an ace and a bomb plant as well, just to put extra points on his scoreboard. Issa alone, someone should be able to steal this ace away from a Jisk and Astralis are all over it. Yeah, they don't want him to have this ace more than they want Issa to even get close to winning this round, it seems like. Oh, Majisk is going to go for it. Gets close, has the ace. And well done there from Majisk. Gets the bomb planted too. A man that really did do it all. Now has a 408 ADR setting in the first round. It's pretty gross. And long may it continue for Majisk, right? Like, he's been in stellar form. Originally, it was like it was really Dupree being the, the man who was consistent for Astralis, and we just wanted to see one or two more players following <laughs> and done the same thing. So I don't know if Nico, Nico wants to try that again. Let's see if he can. The shotgun was close to the belly button of Olaf, but he lives to fight another day to tell the story, perhaps. Well, at least he only gives up the shotgun. Oh, Electronics no. dishing up nothing but death. It's going to be a 16 to 13 oh. finish here, surely. Boomich looking to close things out here. Olaf Meister with 20 points of help. He's got the Krieg in hand, but that's going to be it. Na'Vi do get across the line. We say goodbye to... Let's be planted. More damage being done. Like to be oh. one. It's a pulls one back, and that's Crims and Golden removed now. The R8, really not the ideal weapon for the job here. As you can see, oh. it will be actually perfect, to be honest <laughs> with you. I don't know what I was talking about. It's the R8 that is the ideal weapon for this task. No We've got Bowder left in a two versus one. 
And at this point... It's a default plant, right? Yeah, can they not just... Once he gives his position up, they could go for the defuse, but obviously they need to get that information first. As soon as they spot him, he probably nails a shot with the Krieg. So now they know where he is, going for the defuse. Oh, he's made noise as well. This one's over. Volde wins. Yeah. JW doesn't even have time. Didn't realize Issa helps him out. And now down to the 2v2. Dupree and Zipex. And oh, oh. Zipex gets caught with a nade out. What? But oh. MBK not Whoa. able to adjust in Boom. time. The nade has done it. Astralis going to take 15. <sighs> match and series point. Crazy. Scary scenes here at the Pro League. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, Dupree, I, I, I didn't want to criticize his play because he, he makes the right play. But when he flanks playground, there are two players there and the bomb's there. He lets the bomb get away. He gets one kill and instantly falls back. Now, that is in every way of the word as the safe play, the right play. But if he kills the bomb there, the round is probably done. So it, you could argue, you know, Dupree, play aggressively, play wide, don't take one and, you know, try and just close around. And but that was uh, 360 no scope from Zipex standing yeah, out too. So. Sure. I mean, with the Fotos, mais uma, você tem para três. Estilinga, velho. Estilinga, estilinga. <laughs> Towards the low site, Bronze lost his life elsewhere, taking the initial duel. Golden, he's going to be forced out of windows just by bodies alone. There's just so many players, he's overwhelmed. Doesn't make, oh, make it look oh. like that! That's ridiculous from Golden! A third frag! I did not see that one coming. Frozen and Woxic, they're going to do their best to pick up the pieces. One, another, this time found by Frozen. It is down to the 1v1 despite... Oh no, the doors, but the... Nade has actually saved him. Frozen was going to be forced into the fight by the doors closing. Instead, the nade from Flusher has made this 1v1 a little oh. more awkward. My goodness. Now he pit switches to the bomb and Flusher beheads him. How much did he just destroy him there? The oh footsteps to actually deny the plant. And then the shoulder peek as well to bait up the shot. The perfect crispy headshot from the USB. Shots. Speaking of shots, yeah, this was fantastic. Golden on the third here. I had no idea how he pulled this one off. Remember, on the first <laughs> map, he was 8 and 17 on Inferno. <laughs> he has not been having a good day, but he is certainly warmed up now. That was sick. Golden delivered a little bit of damage and tagged them up. That's where it can actually have some impact here. But there's going to be Crims and Brolan working out a couple of kills here, but I don't think it's enough. And as Golden finds a big spray down here with JW. Yeah, so JW draws the attention, and that's the spray down you were hoping for. Golden, he's got one more duel in Carrigan from the same Ooh. direction, and Golden saves the day. Got a triple those. kill from the in-game leader. It was Mano El Mano. Carrigan El Golden puts it 9-6 at the half. Take if possible, grab a gun. Counter-Strike at this high level, right? If you want to minimize mistakes, and that's what it's all about, is minimizing mistakes and taking the least amount of risks, then playing rounds in this slow fashion is the best way to do so. Yeah. They're going to run to top side now. Of course, this is the only thing they could try and maybe overwhelm. They will get a kill, so that's a positive. Yeah. Nico gets down the vent. It's like the best they can do with a bad situation. They could have just rushed in the very get-go, but they would run into flames and AG grand yeah. blown up. At least they've got a kill out of that, yeah. and they've baited out some of the utility otherwise, right? So they haven't been blown up. It's been more cash expended by the CTs. So yeah, it's not the most entertaining kind of strike to watch when they got Glock sitting in lobby for a minute, but it does make sense when you break it all down. It's a thing that's really come into the forefront the last few months, I would say. A lot more teams are doing this and uh, just trying to notice the fact that they are spending $600 every time a CT drops an incendiary, for example. That's $600 gone. That's spent. Yeah. Hold it. Wins Ooh. the first fight. And with that kill, the bomb now dropped to his feet. Dupree coming up through the divider. Valdet. A little bit worried here because they can come through long. Luckily enough, players have now gotten into the A site on his Time. team. What? Well, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Cynix has retrieved the bomb. They try and get in. You got to get Time. past Mantu, and that is a challenge in and of itself. Oh, Mantu wow. delivers three kills from the man and a second round on the board for OG. Now two in a row. That's going to break the economy of Astralis, and Mantu has just teed OG up to make this first half their own, at least for the time being. Yeah, hits that first shot. The timer's already very low. By the time he drops the bomb, that's it, unless this kill comes in from the side of device, and it just doesn't, man. He's too quick. And there you have it. That's if I'm honest, um, those, those changes seem obvious to me, at least. But uh, in towards ramp, they go. 
And it will be a five on two. Objective Good now plan. trying to get the bomb down uh, with the CT presence down there. Maybe I like not. the fact that they can actually just get straight towards up here. He's going to there's, there's, there's a chance they win this. Oh my god. He baited chance. him with just the flashbang and the door. There's now two frags top there's a chance. side. They've got time for the plant. I can't quite believe it. Boomich. There's absolutely a chance they win this. A two on five at five zero. It would be over. It'd be GG. Oh, wow. That hot player just reacted. I mean, you can't blame him. Oh, this gap. Simple, alive as well. Making some footsteps now. Trying to bait him. Brokey, he's so smart, but Brokey does hit the shot. Boomer surely won't be winning this one. That kill Good attempt. towards the hut was the, the entry. We're seeing a lot more of that these days. Using second smoke goes down, and so Glaive will just position himself behind it. Valder oh, creeps wow. through, and Valder wins that engagement somehow, some way. Device is suddenly thrown into this clutch. 1v2 required. Alexa B has the bomb on his <gasps> back, but Device with the wall bang through the Time. sandbags. Seven no. seconds. Valde burns to death. Wow. And that's how it ends for OG. Astralis, they take the 2 and 0. Oh, and Valde. Me com jogadinha treinada. Lurker, olha lá, 1962, ó. Beleza, mano. Nossa, 1962 ainda. Nossa, mano. NT, velho. NT, velho. Foi pra três. Mano, é só pra mim.